So in this video, we're going to be looking at example problems where we have to graph an absolute value function. So before I start, remember in the last video, we talked about whenever you have an absolute value function, you need to look to see what is happening inside of the absolute value and outside of it. So you have to check the inside and the outside. So on the inside, if you have a minus sign next to your x, a minus sign means shift right. A positive sign means shift left. So this only contributes when it's inside of the absolute value sign. When it's outside, like this plus k here, if you have a positive sign, it means up. If you have a negative sign, it means down. And then the number in front of x, the a here, is your slope. And that helps you determine how to graph your absolute value function. By the way, I just want to mention, when you're graphing absolute value function, remember to graph three points. The reason why you want to graph three points is so that way you can make that V shape. So let me demonstrate that here. So first, when you're looking at an absolute value, determine the shift because that helps you determine the vertex. So like this absolute value sign doesn't have anything inside. So there is no right or left shift, but there's a positive three on the outside. So this means um, up, up three. So you always start the origin. And in this case, I have to shift up three. So I go up three, I'm right here, plot my point. So that's my vertex, which is at zero, three. That X value there is zero, the Y value is three. So I got my vertex. Now I am ready to graph my V shape. But in order to graph it, I need my slope. And that's the key, the next part. So this X here, there's no number up here, but if there's not a number there, you can always assume it's one. So my slope here is one over one. Anytime you have a, num um, a slope, you can always put it over one to make it a fraction. So we're gonna go up one over one which would be plotting right here, since this is positive one. So I'd go up one and this is positive one. So I would go to the right one. And then you would connect the dots and draw your line. But in order to complete our V, we also have to make sure it's symmetric. So we're again gonna use a slope and go up one, but now we're gonna go to the left. So you're gonna go in the opposite direction in order to make that perfect looking V. All right, and there you go. And so that's why I emphasize that you must graph with three points in order to complete that V shape. So first, figure out your shift. That will help you determine your vertex. Once you have your vertex, use the slope to figure out um, where is the other two points so you can connect the dots and make your V. Now, last but not least, it asks if the vertex is a min or a max. So using your intuition here, notice that this vertex here is dipping down. Actually, let me use a red. Is the lowest point on this absolute value, on this V, right? So if it's the lowest point, that means it has to be a min. So this is a min. All right, let's try a different problem here. Let's try B. So for B, again, I'm gonna start off with my shift. So inside of the absolute value, there's a minus four. So if there's a minus four, this tells me I need to go right four. Now there's nothing outside, so there's no up and down shift. So I'm gonna be going um, to the right four, which would lead me right here where my vertex is. Remember, you start the origin and then move by your shift. So if this is my vertex here, that means that my vertex is sitting at four zero. X there is four and zero for the Y since it's sitting on the X axis. That means the Y is zero. All right, from here, if you remember before, we need two more points to make that V. To do that, you need your slope. So the number in front of X is two. So um, in this case, my slope is two over one. So you take the two, put it over one, and there you go, you have your slope. So this is saying up two, go up two over one. And plot. And so that would be my first part of the V. To get my other side, you have to go 
up to, but now to the left. So you go the opposite direction, and now you can complete your V. Now, again, this is the vertex, and it's the lowest point on this V, so it is, again, a min. And there we have our graph completed. All right, let's take a look at C here. So C has a minus 2 on the inside, so this means we have right 2, but it also has a plus 6 on the outside, so that means up 6. So if I go right 2 from the origin, up 6, which would be right here, and plot, I'm like really far up on the graph, so that's going to be my coordinate point for my vertex, so that's 2, 6. 2 for the x, 6 for the y. So I have my vertex, now I need to graph the two other points using my slope. But I have a negative sign in front of my x. That tells me my slope is actually a negative 1. Remember, if there's not a number there, you will always assume a 1. But since there's a negative sign, this is not a positive 1, it's a negative 1. So the slope is negative 1 over 1. Remember, you can always put the slope over 1. So from the vertex, you're going down 1 this time because it's a negative 1. And you're going right one since it's still a positive one on the bottom. So right one, down one, connect the dots, make your line. But now I have to go the opposite way. So I'm going to go down again, but now I'm going to go left and draw my line. I extended that one kind of long, but you don't have to. I think I could have cut it off right here. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Now, this time around, notice that the vertex is looking like at the top of the V, the peak of the V shape, right? So because it's on the peak, this is actually going to be a max because now it's the highest point on our graph. So we call this the max. Okay, so one more here. Let's try out D together. So D has a... Um, positive 3 and a minus 2. So the positive 3 is on the inside, which tells me it is a um, left 3. Because it's a positive, we're going left. A minus 2 on the outside means we're going down 2. So let's move from the origin. We're going to go right 3, down 2, right about here. And let's graph that vertex. So this vertex is at negative 3, negative 2. And now we get to go ahead and plot our next two points using the slope. This slope here is a fraction, so that's kind of nice. So we don't have to put this over 1. So this is going to be our slope. It's 1 over 2. So we go up 1 over 2 to the right, plot our point. And then we go the opposite direction, so up 1 to the left now. And then graph our V. And so from here, we have our V shape. I could have done a better job making it symmetric, but it's okay. As long as they're pointing in the right direction using the slopes. Now, again, this is the lowest point on the graph. The vertex is the lowest point, so this is a min. And there we go. We have our um, graph. And so we're done. So from here, we've only done four examples. Um, if you want to do more examples to practice some of these skills, check out the example problems down below in the practice problem. The answer key is already posted. So check your answer if you want to see if you're on the right track. Bye, guys.